Hey guys, Paul from Ashapedix doing another review for Capes and Scouts. This week we are going a little indie. Uh, we are going with Glitter Bomb issue number three. Um, Glitter Bomb is finally starting to get where it's going. Um, the first two books were jarring, kind of dark, but we didn't really get a lot of story. Um, we are dealing with a, I want to say a washed up uh, starlet who uh, had her her uh, prime cut short uh, and her dealing with her just wallowing misery in uh, Hollywood that has allowed a demon to uh, take over her body or partially take over her body whenever things get bad. Um, we are starting to pick up where things are being left off where it looks like the demon is getting what they want and, and it's now starting to angle towards a bigger plot. Um, I'm a huge fan of Jim Zub. Um, anybody who watches my stuff knows I absolutely love Wayward. Tim wasn't listening, but yeah, pick up Wayward. Wayward's awesome. Um, but yeah, if you are a fan of Jim Don't Zub... Don't read anything else by Jim Zub. Oh, shut up. He's done other things. He does. Thunderbolts. I liked it when he did the Samurai Jack. See, there you go. <laughs> but you did like stuff with him. Anyway. I never said I didn't. I just like making fun of your... My what? undying love for your Wayward. undying love for that. Yes, yeah. it's so good. But anyway, I would have read it by now if you didn't love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this does have the the particular uh, grouping of Zub and Morissette. So, uh, if you like the storyline, you will get a essay at the end by Morrison or man by Morissette. Uh, Alanis? No, not Alanis. Um, kind of giving you a background of what's going on in Hollywood and, and, and how it pertains to the book. It's something I particularly like about Jim, Jim Zub uh, storylines. Um, he does a lot in Wayward, and he's doing it in Glitter Bomb. So, um, if you're a fan of his artwork, or if you're or not artwork, sorry. If you're a fan of his uh, storytelling, definitely pick this one up, because it's going to be a little bit something different, because it's horror. But it, the writing style is still there, and it's something uh, you can look into. So, thanks again. Paul from Ashen Phoenix, youtube.com slash Ashen Phoenix, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram.com slash Team Ashen, and we'll see you guys next week.